one of my videos in my channel has an audio problem in which I tried to solve it by re-uploading but then it gets worse. And so to solve this, I have to record again. And this is what we are trying to do now. We are going to discuss again how to add fractions. For example, one half plus another one half. So before we solve this, let us look at the figures to visualize how these two looks like and you will understand the concept of adding fractions. So we have one half plus one half. Then we will combine them and the result will be look like this. Or it is the same as a whole without a slice. So the expected answer is one and how to solve this without the figures so we follow the rule for adding fraction we copy the common denominator and add the num numerators so this is equal to copy the denominator and add the numerators one plus one is two now we have two over two how did we get one we divide 2 by 2, which is equal to 1. As long as it can be divided or it can be reduced to lowest form, we always do that. Another example, 3 fifths plus 1 fifths. So let us visualize this through figures so we will understand the concept of combining these two. So let's look at for 3 fifths, we have 3 shaded parts out of 5 plus for 1 fifths, we have 1 shaded part out of 5. And then let's combine. So this is equal to 4 shaded parts out of 5 or 4 fifths. So the expected answer is 4 fifths. So let us solve this. This is equal to copy the common denominator. And add the numerators 3 plus 1 is 4. So the answer is 4 fifths. So let's have another example 5 eighths plus 1 eighths. So let us visualize these fractions first through these figures. We have 5 shaded parts out of 8, and that is 5 eighths, plus 1 shaded part out of 8. And that is 1 8. So let's combine these two. So the resulting figure will be like this. 6 shaded parts out of 8. So the expected result will be 6 8. So let's combine or solve this. So this is equal to copy the common denominator. That is 8. And then add the numerators. 5 plus 1 is 6. Or 6 out of 8 or 6 eighths but this is not yet the final answer because it can be reduced how will you know that a fraction can be reduced if the numerator and the denominator can be divided by a common divisor or a common number in this case both 6 and 8 are divisible by 2 so let us reduce this and this is equal to 3 fourths. So the final answer is 3 fourths. But then our figure doesn't look like 3 fourths. But actually, if we remove the horizontal slice just like this, then it is 3 fourths. So that means the figure in 6 eighths is actually the same as 3 fourths. Another example 3 fourths plus 1 eighths. This time, the denominators are not the same, so we cannot just simply add the numerators. But this is not that hard because 8 is just a multiple of 4. That means we can just multiply 3 fourths by 2 to make it the same denominator 8. But before that, let us visualize these two fractions to understand the concept of combining them. So, 
we have the three fourths, three shaded parts out of four, plus one eighth, or one shaded part out of four. So as you can see in the figures, they are totally different. So how can we combine them if they don't fit with each other? So let us make it the same denominator first by multiplying by 2. So 4 times 2 will become 8. But then in fractions, whatever you multiply to the denominator, it must also be the same to the numerator. So it will be 3 times 2. And so 4 times 2 is 8 and 3 times 2 is 6 now it is 6 eighths but our figure is not yet 6 eighths so how to make it 6 eighths so if your fraction is multiplied by 2 the figure is not mul multiplied by 2 but it is actually the opposite the figure is divided by 2 so there you go we have 6 eighths now the two figures fit with each other and then we can combine so six shaded parts and the one shaded part combining them all in all that's seven shaded parts out of eight so the expected answer is seven eights and so let us solve this we copy the common denominator eight and add the numerator, numerator six plus one is seven so it is seven eights how about this? Two thirds plus one half. Now this time it is harder because the denominators are not the same and at the same time the two are not multiples with each other. So it's harder to make them the same denominators. So before that, uh, let us look at the figures first to understand why it's hard to solve them. So we have 2 thirds, 2 out of 3, 2 shaded parts out of 3, plus 1 half, or 1 shaded part out of 2. So how can we combine them if these two figures doesn't fit with each other? And also, how can we solve these 2 thirds plus 1 half if they don't have the same denominator? So actually, we can make these two denominators the same by multiplying both fractions by a number you may choose any number from these two denominators as a common multiple there are so many common multiples for 3 and 2 like 6 12 18 24 and so on you can choose any common multiple to them as long as in the final answer you always reduce the, the final answer to the lowest term and it should be the same answer but for me I will just use the least common multiple or we call it least common denominator or LCD which is 6 so to make it 6 for 2 thirds we multiply it by 2 and for 1 half to make it 6 we multiply it by 3 and so they will have the same denominator 6 so let's multiply 3 times 2 that will be 6 and then 2 times 2 is 4 1 times 3 is 3 now we have uh, the same denominators 4 6 and 3 6 how about the figures how did it become 4 6 so Remember that we multiply this by 2 to make it uh, the same denominator. So for figures, we are going to divide it instead of multiplying it. So we divide it by 2 for every part. Now it's 4, 6. And for 1 half, since we multiply it by 3, we will divide the, the figure by 3 for each part. And that makes it 3, 6 now the two figures fit with each other and so we can combine them we have four shaded parts and three shaded parts combining it it will result to a one whole or six out of six and one out of six so the resulting sum is seven six so now let us solve the problem below 
So let us add it. We copy the common denominator and add the numerators. 4 plus 3 is 7. So the result is 7, 6. But then it, the result is improper, so we'll change it to mixed. How to change it to mixed? We divide the numerator by the denominator. 7 divided by 6 is 1. And then we have a remainder 1. And so the result is 1 and 1 6, where the 1 whole is your quotient and the numerator 1 is your remainder. So that's how you arrange uh, the result when you divide numerator by denominator to make it a mixed one. Now, the figure on top doesn't look like 1 and 1 6. And so, we are going to remove the slices on top to make it really a whole. So it will be the same as 1 and 1 6. Now, about if it's all in mixed form. 1 and 2 thirds plus 2 and 1 half. So I intentionally uh, make it the same fraction, 2 thirds and 1 half, and just added the three holes in all just to make it easier for us to combine the fractions and it will save time. So let us look at the figures for these two mixed forms. We have one whole and two thirds. So as you can see, it's the same figure in the previous slide, but we just added the one whole and two and one half. So again, the one half is just the same in the previous uh, example, and then but then uh, we added two holes, and then we combined them. So we copied the, the three holes. And then we combine the two thirds and the one half where we have it a while ago, where the result is one and one sixth. So the result for this is four and one sixth. Since you have learned already the concept of adding fractions, let me now show you how to add this using the shortcut. So let us solve the previous examples 2 thirds plus 1 half so this is equal to the first thing to do is to multiply the denominators 3 times 2 that will be 6 and then we cross multiply 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3 times 1 is 3 and then we combine it will result to 7 6 and then change it to mix, which will result to 1 and 1 6. So that's how fast it is. Now how about for mixed forms? We also do a shortcut for mixed forms. We have 1 and 2 thirds plus 2 and 1 half. So this is how you do it. You separate the whole number from the fraction. 1 plus 2 thirds plus 2 plus 1 half and then you combine the holes so 1 plus 2 is 3 then plus then we combine the fractions that is 1 and 1 6 which is based on the previous example for adding 2 thirds and 1 half and then we will combine 3 and 1 and 1 6 where we will just combine the whole numbers 3 and 1 and then just copy the 1 6 so 3 plus 1 is 4 and that means our answer is 4 and 1 6 and that's how fast it is thanks for watching and i hope you have learned from this video please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section